call it mole, bloody tampon. Right. And that's right. what God calls it. Right. right. So for us to say it's anything other than what God said, we are lying. Thou shalt say unto it, get the hits. Get off me. That is how you're supposed to treat us, what you're going to do. You, you can't it. do nothing about that, but you, you can do something about that one. Right, you can't do nothing about the tattoo, don't get no more. Because that's a sin in the Bible to get tattooed. So with being taught, right? With being taught the Bible. So I see you have a star David. That's what they call it. What is it? What is that to you? Yeah. See, I'm looking at it as self. Huh? I'm looking at it as self. What you mean? Explain. Higher self, lower self. Say it again? Higher self, lower self. Higher self, lower self? What does that mean? Me as and I'm only asking because I just want to know where you get it from and why and why do you wear it? I just want to know. It's not to bash you or nothing. I just want to understand why you wear it, and I don't. I just all I want to know. So when I say higher self, I'm thinking of my like when I'm vibrating in my voice. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. And from lower self, you know, you what's in your head that's telling you to do bad, basically good and bad. It's kind of like yin yang. That's so, what that. That's what that. So, is that what the ring in the star is, or the star itself? It's just, the star. just the star. Okay. All right, now you got six triangles on there. Yeah, so so like, which one is the one that's pointing up and down that you focus on? You know what I'm saying? It's the balance between it that makes it the start. But I got the triangle. Each triangle represents its own thing. You got okay. the highest up close of each triangle. You got the man, you got the female, and you got the most hot. You know, and then you got the man, the female, the lowest up, and then you got you know what I'm saying? Most I ain't never low. You put him down that's, there? I know, that's okay. what I'm saying. That's why, right. you know what I'm saying? It's a difference between each. And then it's also your mind. I look at it as my mind too. Because you got to conscious mind and subconscious mind. Okay. So you got to male side, female, female side, and it's connected to the divine. All right. So that's the tip top. So you said you got, I got a female side? You got Feminine. You got the male and you got the feminine. So we got, so men, are we supposed to have feminine sides to us? You don't, you're not supposed to act like it, but you have it. You know, you got feminine energy. You got All right. male, masculine energy, and feminine energy. You All know, right. Right, so what's your name again, bro? I didn't hear your name when I was over there. Brandon. Brandon? All right, Brandon, I know you just now finding out your initial life, right? And you're pretty new to the understanding of the Bible, right? All right, so we are here to help them. Just like it said, that somebody got to teach our people that know the Bible. And you believe this over everything else, right? So if you believe the Bible over everything else, what you just said to me, is that confusing? Is it confusing? Yeah. To, to anyone that hears that, do you believe that was easy for you to explain? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right. What did you get the understanding from? Mm, researching. Yeah. It was through this too. I was researching through this. Who gave you that understanding? Really the mind, books. All right, give me a favor. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 33, I believe it is. Or Read up. I'm going to show you something, because that is confusion. It's, that is all confusion, because watch this. If a necklace or a star represents your mind, and you being one with the Most High, why do we need the Bible? Because this is supposed to bring you to the Bible, to God, not the star. You see what I'm saying? That's, con that's confusing. And it's not simple because it's, uh, my five-year-old wouldn't understand nothing you just said. But my five-year-old do understand, keep the commandments or you're dying. Period. That's easy, right? Let's read this right here about that. Is that what I want? Yes, yeah, read that. First Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. Uh -huh. Read up. For God is not the author of confusion. Because it is confusing for our people to believe anything else other than the Bible. Brains down, and I'm speaking loud for our people that's in the distance, but they listen. So it is confusion for us to believe in any idol that is an idol. And I'm going to prove it to you. Give me Amos chapter 5. We're going to read about this idol out of the Bible. Our people wore stars in the Bible. It wasn't called Star David. Because nowhere in the Bible do you read about David wearing an idol. You actually just read about everybody else wearing a star, Molech, right. which is an idol. 
So our people were doing this very thing even back then. That's right. Now we repeat it today, not understanding what that really is, just like our people were across today. That's no different. Our people were onks today. That's no different. See what I'm saying? Let's read what that star is right here. 26. 26. Amos chapter 5 and verse 26. Read up. But ye have started 25. Watch this. Yes, sir. Amos chapter 5 and verse 25. Uh -huh. Ye have offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years, uh -huh. O house of Israel. But that's what we did. What, what we in the, what we wandering around for 40 years? Right? Read on. Now watch this. But ye. So have, look, so we was offering sacrifices to who? God. That's a question. Wasn't y'all offering sacrifices to me? That's what God is saying. So that's a question like, are y'all for real? Y'all was offering sacrifice. You come around here, bro. To me, go ahead. But, 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 go ahead. Ye have borne the tabernacle of your Molech and to end. Uh -huh. Your images, the start of your God. So it said, but, say you was walking around making sacrifices and keeping my laws. Now all of a sudden you want to follow your God, Molech, right. and right. we're a star. God is saying it the way I just said. Like, can you, are you serious? That's what he's saying. Right. Imagine right. how we talk. God is pissed. That's right. Because our people are wearing idols of their gods. That's Nothing to do with them. And it's a star. What is that? Uh, Very same thing. Isaiah 30, 22. Is that in on that verse? Some more. Go ahead, go ahead. Watch and see what happened because we wore that star. Read. Which ye made to yourselves. Because our people made that to ourselves to please ourselves to make it up. Read the next verse. Therefore, will I cause you to go into captivity. Why are we going to America? Because Therefore, what? I will cause you to go into captivity. That star is one of the reasons this happened. That star is the reason this happened. The cross is the reason this happened. The unk is the reason this happened. Bring it out. They all the same. Nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with none of our people. That's right. But it's a whole lot of people trying to teach that star David. Nowhere in there did you read that star David. It says star Molech. We was worshiping that false god. That's right. All right, now let's go. Where the verse I told you to go Isaiah, to? Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 22. Yes, How do you do that? Now y'all know it's about to rain on our head, but it's going to it. pass over right quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images. Didn't it say uh, we made those gods for ourselves? So we had to grade them. We had to make them for ourselves. So a man made that. Right. God never told us to wear images to him. What? He never said that in the Bible. So why do we wear images and say it represents us to him? And he said, don't do that. That's right. That's why I told you never bow down to an image. Never for you to wear a graven image that you are going to be a teacher of lies. Because what you just said is a lie. Because your mind on that star, when I look at that star, has nothing to do with your brain being one with God. Whatsoever. Right. What you was taught was a lie. That's and that's right. all I'm here to do is to help that's you. Right. So now you know what you got to do. Because we're going to read the law on what you should do with that star now. Bring it up. Now you know it's a star molek and ain't got nothing to do with God. What you must do now. Let's go ahead and read on down. Yeah. Ye have made, I'm sorry, ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images Three. of silver uh -huh. and the ornament of thy molten image of gold. And he made our silver and gold. <laughs> God knew what he created. Right. He created our people and he knew we were going to be evil because we would go off and follow other gods. Go ahead. Thou shalt cast them away. He should do what? Cast them away. Go ahead. As a mistress cloth. Say you should do what with it? Like a what? What is that? What is a mistress cloth? You see all these women around here that ain't hit menopause yet? And they all bleed on a bloody pad. That is a mistress cloth. A bloody tampon. Bring it out. God said that's what you got around your neck, bro. But our people look at that to say that's holy. It's for, it's for me to God. God said he said that's a bloody tampon. And our people were across. Bloody tampon. Uh uh. Bloody tampon. A star of Molech. Bloody tampon. And that's right. what God calls it. Right. So for us to say it's anything other than what God said, we are lying. Somebody lied to our people to make them think that's holy. Somebody lied to our people to make us think a cross is holy. Somebody lied making us think a unk is holy. That's right. God said those are bloody tampons. Cast them away. Go ahead. 
thou shalt say unto it, get thee hence. Get off me. That is how you're supposed to treat it. It's what you're going to do. Huh? There's a law. The law is right here. We just read it. So now you know what you got to do. What you going to do? Take it Ain't nobody stopping you right now. Well, Ain't nobody stopping you. Oh, you can't. Oh, that's, that's all right. why? You can't do nothing about that, but you can do something about that one. You can't do nothing about the tattoo. Don't get no more. Because that's a sin in the Bible to get tattoos. A lot of our people don't know that. How y'all doing, my sister? Y'all should come out the car. It's going to stop raining now. It's not raining no more. Why not? Well, y'all my sisters. Well, I'm your brother. Come here, your brother. Come talk to your brother. <laughs> so look. No, you keep the change. Throw that thing in the trash, bro. All these trash cans is a highway right there. Keep Skip the change. Across, Just toss them the All back. that. You throw all that. Over. Look, keep the chain, though. Because the chain, hey, we was always fly. We just didn't wear images with it. Well, we did, as you can see. And we were put in slavery because of those images. But we got to repent. How you doing, my sister? <laughs> all praise. Now, let's get Habakkuk. Let's go to Habakkuk. Let's read. Let's read. Because whenever you did that, when you gave that understanding, it said that those idols caused you to be a teacher of lies. Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 18. Uh -huh. What profit is the graven image? Like, what good is it for you? What good is it for our people to wear graven images? Go ahead. That the maker thereof have graven uh -huh. image. The molten image. And a teacher of lies. That's all they did. It caused you to teach me lies. Bring it so up. I ask you, what does it mean to you? Because I wanted to know what you thought. I wanted to know why you do it. I always ask our people, why do you do certain, why do our people do certain things? Who taught us that? All the people that are, that brains are gone and don't believe in the Bible teach everybody lies. And then we go and follow them, not understanding. And I know it's certain games like uh, uh, the GDs for that star as well. They used to be called, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Gangster Against the Disciples, the but it wasn't it Gosh Disciples. <laughs> We're the only people that think it's cool to look like the devil. We're the only ones that think it's cool to look like we worship the devil. We're the only ones to do that. Every other race will do stuff behind closed doors. Our people will be flamboyant in homosexuality. You don't even know white people gay, but you know black people gay because they extra with it. Right. Just like you know black people are extra when they want to be the devil. They will literally wear the star of the devil and walk around proud of it and say I'm a part of a gang and do so. And literally kill themselves. And then wonder why the community is like that. Imagine, imagine, imagine all the men that represent those type of things. They're doing it because someone taught them a lie. Right. They think that is a real sense of family. They think that's a real sense of brotherhood. It's not. Because when our brothers go to jail, why don't why don't nobody outside go see them? Why don't they put money on their books? Why don't nobody take care of their girl? Why they still why they sleep with their girl instead of take care of their girl? Right. Everybody want everybody do that with them. and then they kids. Why don't nobody look out for their children? Because it's not a real family. That's false. Star Molek. It's all idolatry. And because it's all idolatry, it's fake. Right. Our people are the fakest people on the planet. We have a dude in here, on, he, he don't even own the store. He want us to leave from talking to our people, but it's drug dealers walking around. Right. It's prostitutes walking around. Right. All kinds of evil going on, and he want us to leave. Right. We ain't beat nobody up. Bring it up. He want to come out here telling us to turn the microphone down. Hell no. That's we right. turning the microphone down. We going to be out here until it pisses his ass off. That's, That's right. right. Because we love our people that much. That's right. Problem is our people don't love us either. Right. And we understand that because in the Bible, all the apostles got killed too. Right. And we understand that. That's why we come out here anyway. That's right. Because we love our people. Knowing one day that might not, this might be it. So what? Because what if you repent? All praise, we did our job. That's right. We did our job. If you repent and want to get right. Now, let's get the prayer. Deuteronomy 20. Is that it on that verse? Is that it on that verse? All right, let's read the rest of it. Go ahead. That the maker of his work trusted therein. Because our people trust therein those idols. That's why you said, I trusted it. You know, it's me having a connection with God, the man and the female. You trusted in that. And it's all lies. Our people trust in lies instead of the truth. Go ahead. To make dumb idols. Go ahead. Woe unto them that saith to the wood, uh -huh. awake, 
to the dumb stone. So woe, meaning destruction to them that say to these idols that are made out of wood and stone, primarily Christianity and uh, 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 Islam, but <clears throat> Egyptology, Star Molech, all these are idols. So we're saying woe to them that follow after idols. Go ahead. Awake to the dumb stone. How people say awake, come save me. It's their destruction to you to believe in something that can't move, that can't talk, that can't save nobody. Destruction to you, because when you call on it, it can't do nothing. Right. Go ahead. Arise, it shall teach. Uh -huh. They want it to stand up and teach now. They want that thing to stand up and talk now. Can't do nothing but kill our people's soul. That's Destroy our people's minds. Go ahead. Behold. I'm sorry. Behold, it is laid over with gold uh -huh. and with silver. Go ahead. And there is no breath at all in the midst of it. Ain't no life in it. We right. the only ones that got a true living God and we follow everything else. That's what we do. What did I tell you to get folks? What did I say? Beer. Huh? Beer. The beer. Let's read the beer because you got to be shaving it off. Keep your beard on your face. That's a sin. First thing they did to us in slavery was shave the beard off and call us poor. Now we live like boys voluntarily. We literally cut our beards off to look professional. Or they call it clean shaving. Huh? You're not clean when you shave your beard off to God. You're unclean. Right. But they tell you it's clean. Why would somebody call something that is clean unclean? It is to deceive our people to think it's good when it has when it is not. It's evil. Right. So they'll shave the only people that don't get beards is women and children. That's it. Not men. Men got birds. So for us to say we men, we gotta look like men. You ever seen brothers? Matter of fact, when you have you ever grown your bird out before a little bit? You see how people treat you? Do they treat you any different when you walk in a room? Different type of respect. Because that's a man right there. That's how you see it. Why would you throw that away to look like a boy? Our people, well, it makes me look younger to shave it off. Don't nobody give a damn about how you look. Talking about you look younger. Right. Who cares? We in captivity. We just read that. Bring it out. But we want to look young for girls and all of that. We still want to be whoremongers, but we claim we follow the Bible. No one cares about that crap, bro. All right, let's read that. Leviticus chapter 21, and verse 5. Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. So our grown men cannot shave their heads bald like the Mike Jordan. But ain't that what we be getting in all the barbershops? All these old men and looking pastors and stuff like that, they don't know the Bible. They don't know the Bible, but they in there trying to teach the Bible to our people. Yet and still, you got GDs sitting in the Bible, in the church. Bring it up. Selling drugs, I don't check. So they acting like little boys like they look. Bring it up. Go ahead. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. You can't shave off the corner of your beard. And I can see you fully growing. Leave it alone. You can trim it up and see, I got my trim, but I ain't do the chin strap, none of that. No, it's gonna be there. I work with this bird. It ain't going nowhere. That's you got right. Edomites walk around with big birds at work. Ain't no reason black people to think they can't now. But we'll walk around, you know what, at my job, they all, you know, they look at the bird funny. Why Esau walk around there one this goddamn pig. And our people make excuses to not keep the commandments because it's not clean shape. Out. When you unclean without the bird. Is that another bird? Go ahead. <coughs> Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So no more tattoos. You can't do nothing about the tattoos you got. And you can't get them removed because you got to cut inside of it to get it off. But what you can do is don't get no more. Now when people see you, you can say, look, I got all these when I was ignorant. I ain't know no better. Right. But now we ain't getting no more. So now the people that go to get them and think that crap is cool, you can teach them that mess ain't how it's supposed to go. You ain't do that with your right mind. This is your right mind. That's now, right. Now, get Jeremiah, Jeremiah 17, verse 9. I'm going to show you about the mind. Because you said, my mind being connected with God and the woman and the... No, no, sir. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Watch this. Read this. Jeremiah chapter 17. In verse 9. Right this is why that star Molech was created. This is why our people wear it right here. Go ahead. The heart is deceitful uh -huh. above all things. Because our minds, your heart is your mind in the Bible. It says our minds, our hearts are deceitful above all. That's why we wear these idols all around our neck. 
because we are in, huh? Let's read it again, then let's get Mark so we can prove that, that's the, that the heart is the mind. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9. Uh -huh. The heart is deceitful uh -huh. above all things. So your mind is evil because you leaning on your own thoughts. You know what? I think I could do this. I thought, I thought, I thought. God already told you what you can and can't do. Just do what he said. Let's prove that the heart is the mind. Go ahead. Let's read that in Mark 7. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. Uh -huh. Bring it out. For from within, out of the heart of men. So out of the heart of men. Go ahead. Proceed evil thoughts. So where do our thoughts come from? <laughs> but people say this is my heart right here. They beat their chest. Ain't talking about nothing. All that do is pump blood and it'll stop on you in a minute. This right here makes it pump, but so why don't we why don't we focus on that? It's freaking ridiculous. We don't understand. So the Bible says, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. That's why our people were idols. Because we evil. We evil. All praises to the most high. That is why we do these different things, because we don't know God. We let everybody else tell us about God except for the word of God. Right. That don't make sense. Now let's go back to Jeremiah. Let's sure. finish that verse. Yes, sir. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 9. Uh -huh. The heart is deceitful above all things uh -huh. and desperately wicked. It's what? And desperately wicked. If we don't have God, we are desperately evil. Right. We seek evil. That's right. right. So any, that's why everybody that say, I love God, I want to do what God said. If you ain't coming to the Bible to get the answers, you are evil. Right. You are right. desperately evil. You are literally seeking problems. Bring it up. Our people run to problems and then turn around and say, I was trying to be good. No, you wouldn't. Right. You know, good and God, well, which one is the word of God? Yeah. Why don't our people go to it? No, nah, I don't want nobody because you know why? I've, all, I've said this so many times. When you read the Bible, there is a line drawn in the sand. You got to pick a side. Ain't no straddling the fence no more. That's why our people don't want to know what it's say. Right. Because you know what? If I want to run to games, God told me not to. Let's get that in Proverbs chapter 1. Our people want to join and sell drugs. God says, don't do it. Matter of fact, he said, I'm going to laugh when your behind get killed from me. I'm going to laugh when you go to prison for life from me. God think it's funny. But our people will be standing there after they done sold and killed everybody in the community. And then everybody talking about free so-and-so. Really? They killing your child and everybody else's child. Free them for what? So they can keep doing it? Right. Our people crazy. Right. We are absolutely crazy, bro. Then they'll turn around and put rest in peace when we die. Right. Hell, we just killed up everybody in the community. We done done drive-by since we were 13. Now all of a sudden, rest in peace ain't no peace. That's you right. Hold that. Give me Isaiah chapter uh, uh, 27. No, 57 in the last verse. I'm going to show you. Ain't no peace. Bring it up. Ain't no peace with no wicked person, bro. Never. That's why they always looking on their shoulder. That's why they always looking around. That's why they that's why they always say, don't get caught lacking. Cause your behind can't relax. You ain't never had peace. That's not a peaceful way to live. You can't even go to sleep very long. You don't know what's gonna happen. Let's read why it's like that. Read that. Isaiah chapter 57 and verse 21. Read up. There is no peace, saith God to the wicked. Ain't no peace for no wicked man or woman out here. That's right. No peace. No comfort, no relaxation, and when you die, ain't no peace then either. Ain't none. Right. But our people, rest in peace. God just said ain't gonna be none. They gonna burn forever and feel it. Right. Ain't gonna be none. But our people will live these lifestyles thinking it's cool when your behind gonna be dead before you 25. Right. Hello? And you gonna have babies everywhere and they gonna be right behind you if they don't die before you. Right, right. But our people don't understand that. But that also goes with us following idols. The worst thing for a parent to watch is for their child to die before them. Right. A lot of mothers wearing black these days. A whole lot of them wearing black these days and praying to a God that ain't hearing them because they won't do what God said. How the mama and the pops gonna take the money from the drug dealing son? Right. They consent. They okay with it. Versus beating the heck out of him. Right. And kicking his behind out where he ain't got nowhere to lay his head. Right. But our people to make it cool, make it all the way, that's my baby, is unconditional love. Where the heck is that love in the Bible when God said but to correct our children? That's right. How is that love if we don't? See what I'm saying? Let's go back to where we was at. Back over to Proverbs uh, 1. Yeah, let's read 10, and then we're going to jump down a good bit. Go ahead. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Uh -huh. My son, 
if sinners entice thee, uh -huh. consent thou not. Read. So it say if sinners try to get you to roll with them, consent. Now let's see what they're going to ask us to do when they ask you to roll with them. Go ahead. If they say, come with us and let us lay wait. Let us lay wait. We're going to go alert. Matter of fact, it's in there. Read that. And let us lay wait for blood. Uh -huh. Let us lurk. Trivially. Ain't that what we call it when we when we try to roll down on the ops? We lurking. And ain't, we ain't the first ones to say that. That's in the Bible. It said when they ask you to do that, do not consent with them. Don't go. That's right. But our people hop right in the car and we do it and then we don't come home. Or when we do come home, the police looking for we on the run. Ain't no peace now. Right. See what I'm saying? It's all in the Bible, but our people, our parents ain't teaching this. Our mothers and fathers ain't teaching this. Right. We always in the street. But then somebody took the curve to even teach us what the Bible says. All praise most I gave us the mind to do what it says. Yes, right. Because all of us could be dead. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Shoot it.